Hey everybody, this is a video on our new Master Ferguson 575. We're well, keeping it here for a friend at the moment, but I can use it and fiddle about with it. It's 1977, multi-power, done at 8,900 hours. Overall, it's quite tidy. Bought it from a local dealer. A little bit of rot in the usual places on 500 series cab. But 16.9 by 30 tyres, it's got big wide ones on it. Only got a um, draw bar, but it... We should be able to buy a hook for it soon. Somerset Reg. Well, that plastic bit on the back of the cab that holds the air filter in. And this is the owner's mower as well. Mine's over there. Needs to get some new tines for that. Um, I'm just going to put the iFordian trader on, or Buffalo trader, whatever the badges. Yeah. And go and move some panels with it. This was only a quick like, introduction video thing. I do want to start on it in a minute. And put it out. We've got a spud patch. Put some fence panels around it. It's out there. Right, so that's the plan. Let's see if it'll start first. After driving the 300 series quite a lot, the first thing that gets you in a 500 series is how sort of the steering wheel's so high up and right in front of you. So 390 is sort of down here, and you've got your rev counter there, 8901. You see six speed and then multi power. You've got three spools, your linkage controls. It came with a quickie loader, and we got it. We sold the frame to a local bloke who's put it on his John Deere, and I think it looks quite good. Although he didn't need the brackets, so we still got the brackets in case we ever want a loader on it. Indicators, they work. They work when there's a trailer on the back, so I don't know what's wrong with that. It's your washer, which doesn't work. Alright, it usually needs a bit of heat, this tractor, because obviously it's done 8,900 hours. But let's try it. Right, a little bit of throttle. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't start too well, but with a bit of work, it should start a bit better. It isn't that warm today either. Right, let's get cracking. Tips over quite nicely. Main thing I like about this tractor for our yard is how tight the steering lock is. I couldn't have got this that long trailer out of there with the 390. You could have done it with something smaller, then you ain't got the cab. And when it's raining, that's not nice. I've got to steer, not hit anything, and film. do this and I'll get back to you. Also something I find annoying with the 500 series is the handbrake is all the way down here and for the old bloke who bought it, 66, it's quite a way down because the 300 series is just like here. PTO's in a nice place, that's seized, seat seized, but all kind of works in a 1970s fashion. I need to put all of those panels from there onto there. It looks quite good there with the trailer on. Didn't overpay for it. All I've done with it so far is put an oil filter on it. Genuine massy one. I don't know what that bracket's for. And it's missing a pane of glass. But I've got the glass and I've got a rubber, so I just need to put it on sometime. The filters don't look that bad, they're genuine Agco ones, so just wants the fan belt tension in a bit, although it does charge the battery. If this is all for the loader, and runs back in under the cab somewhere. That's why we really wanted it. We kind of jumped at this opportunity that this uh, local John Deere dealer, or not dealer, like mechanic, bought the loader, because it means we can keep the brackets, and I expect it would have been a pain to take all those pipes off for the brackets. So it's just as well. <clears throat> and I've cut around that tree, because it was a pain. I'll put all this up with the buck rake on the middle 35. Yeah, that's that full. And I better come in and get another load later on. That grass out there is coming on quite well. I might do the same around that tree, but that one's a bit different. And I expect that one's going to come out soon, which would be good. Move that ring feeder. 
and then we'll be ready to go. I suspect you'll see more of this tractor because we're going to, I suspect this year, put my dung spread on it to do all that muck and unload with the 390, then got loaded with the 35. So that's the plan. Right, this is a little video on the 575. I suppose this will do. I suppose this will be up in a couple of weeks' time from when I'm filming this because today is Saturday. Sunday's video today is baling all of the silage, which is over there. And that was a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, and then this one I'll go up. And then I've probably got to start filming more things because that's only two videos. Alright, cheers. Bye.